at Wild Heart Ranch, we work every day with these animals. We take in the injured and orphan indigenous wildlife in much of the northeastern part of Oklahoma. Our rescue rate is above 90%. We're very proud of our results. Uh, we know what we're doing. We have some highly dedicated volunteers and we train daily here to make sure that every animal gets proper nutritional and medical care and we can release them back into the wild 100 percent recovered so that they can go on about their way and avoid people and lead the life that they were meant to have before tragedy struck. One of the greatest prides of being a director of a facility like Wild Heart Ranch is the fact that everybody that works here follows the same drummer. We are all working not to cuddle and coddle these animals, but to nurture them to be independent, avoid people, and be physically capable of surviving on their own in the wild. The release is celebrated because that is what we are working for every day. One of the benefits of Wild Heart Ranch is the fact that we have people from all walks of life and all professions. We have people in the medical field. We have people that have worked with animals on a rescue basis for many years. Um, we have people in the legal field, the educational field, and law enforcement. And we really have the resources cumulatively within our own staff to handle almost every situation. Uh, we do deal with law enforcement on a regular basis because when uh, animals are seized and they've been mistreated, abused, neglected, starved, uh, our Sheriff's Department contacts us in the beginning so that we can be there to not only get the animals medical care but do the long term as well as find their, them homes. Being a wildlife facility it's very difficult because we have to depend a lot on foster homes and also paying for veterinary care for these animals to have a place to go. So building the domestic clinic is going to be key not only for our rescue but for our community to have a place to go when these animals need long-term care and it's going to save us so much money in the long run because we will no longer have to pay boarding fees. Currently Wild Heart Ranch takes in over 2,000 animals per year. We've outgrown our facility and we need to expand and build more permanent structures to house more animals while they heal and grow and get ready for release. Uh, in 2012 we purchased 40 acres of land that is paid for and belongs to Wild Heart Ranch and we are currently raising funds to build our first structure which will be our wildlife clinic and it will be better able to handle the influx of orphans and injured animals that we see every year. Wild Heart Ranch, like most rescues in Oklahoma, is not subsidized by the government. We actually have to pay for our permits to do this work. We are 100% dependent on donations from uh, people that want to see us continue to grow and take these animals in. Uh, we've been going since 1996. Over 30,000 animals have been through these doors and more than 90% of those have been released to freedom. On top of that, we have helped hundreds of domestic animals, horses, dogs, cats, exotic animals, and found them homes and obtained their medical care. So we're not a small organization. Wild Heart Ranch is definitely the small but mighty rescue. We are going to expand on our 40 acres and our facility will finally be the same size as our hearts and our efforts. We've been making do with small space and limited areas for equipment and cages for years and we finally have the opportunity to make our facility fit our job load and uh, it's only going to continue to get bigger because we'll be able to do more and uh, we're really excited about the project. Recently we requested that our Facebook followers contribute to our funds to build our new clinic by donating five dollars and the cost of a stamp to mail in that five dollars. In just over a week's time we raised over eight thousand dollars in donations of small increments. There were a few larger increments but the majority was uh, five and ten dollar donations. This adds up so quickly coming from a large number of people. With thirty three thousand followers we're asking those that follow Wild Heart Ranch to maybe do without a Starbucks this week and send in five dollars either through our PayPal off our website at wildheartranch.org or to send in five dollars through the mail at P.O. Box 170 Foyle, Oklahoma 74031. 